I do eventually want to upgrade her into a bigger enclosure. Hello. Welcome back to my channel. I asked you guys on Instagram if you would rather see a video about my guppy fry or if you wanted to see an updated reptile rack tour. And honestly, I'm not surprised at all that you guys would rather see the reptile rack tour. I get asked about my reptile rats all the time. The most asked questions are about these two rats with the number one question being where I got them from. And I'm going to start the video off by saying they are from Home Depot, both of them. I will leave the links of them down below. So now that I have that out of the way, I can go ahead and show you what the racks look like. I think I'm going to do a small little overview of each enclosure. I do want to start by saying a lot of these enclosures will be changing very soon. I am planning on doing some bioactive enclosures. I know that at the Reptile Expo this year, there is a small business coming that sells isopods and springtails and all that good stuff. And they said they're going to have some really good deals at the Expo. So I am waiting until then to actually pick those up. Honestly, I think I'm just going to get into it because there are quite a few enclosures and I definitely want to be able to give you guys a little bit more of an in-depth view. And also, some of you don't like when I talk too much, so I'm not going to ramble. I'm just going to start. I'm actually really surprised I was able to get all the tanks into the frame. I will definitely be showing you more in detail every single shelf, but I wanted to give you a quick little overview so you can kind of to see what it looks like. On the left hand side is my much larger rack which houses pretty much all my crested geckos, my bearded dragon, and my tomato frog. And then on the right hand side is just two enclosures. It's my 20 gallon long community tank, which I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I just cleaned it yesterday and it's already covered in poop and algae. Not too much algae, but I want to let you guys know about that before I show you. It's just impossible to keep a tank that has a white sand as a substrate looking clean and fresh just because the fish poop so much. And I do like to keep a significant amount of algae in my tanks just because I do have some auto cats in there and they absolutely love to snack on the algae. So we are going to do this vlog style because honestly this rack is too tall to even have my camera on a tripod. But at the top I just have a little light for my tomato frogs plants but I haven't been keeping it on because the plants are doing really well and growing like crazy without that light on. I also just don't don't have a working bulb in one side. I need to buy new bulbs for it and then I will have it going again but for now it is just off. And I have my loose little zoo side. I have a fake plant and then a little L because I don't know where else to put that. So this one is Cheetos enclosure and then this one is Ketchup's enclosure. I also have this umbrella plant here which is doing really really well. I actually just don't have anywhere else to put it and I'm kind of trying to like hide Puff's light behind there. First we have Cheeto and and Cheeto is in a 12 by 12 by 18 Exoterra. That is because Cheeto is still a little tiny baby. I want to keep him in a smaller enclosure for now. When he is a little bit bigger, I will be upgrading him into a larger enclosure. I think Cheeto is... There's Cheeto. Cheeto's like, hello, I don't want anyone to see me. That is a Cheeto. I don't think I'm going to take any of my animals out just because... They are nocturnal, most of these animals, and I just want them to live their best lives and be asleep. He is still in the process of being tamed. Not sure if he's a boy or a girl either. Just been calling him a boy because that's what the rest of my Crassa geckos are. And that's my luck. I always get a boy. So I'm just going to close that up. Next we have ketchup and I'm laughing because he just put his head down as soon as he saw me. There he is. I also think he's a boy, but he is pretty bright, so... I wouldn't be surprised if he turns out to be a girl. Why are you not focusing? Focus on the ketchup. So this is ketchup. Could be a boy, could be a girl, who freaking knows. He is in a 18 by 18 by 18 Exoterra. The minimum size you wanna do is actually a 10 gallon and I just find that to be a little bit too small in my opinion. He uses every 
inch of the space. He's a very active little thing. Just have a little hide over here, which it has moss on top of it just to keep the humidity in a little bit better. And it's just a little half log. He likes to hide in there sometimes, but for the most part, he stays over here. He likes to dig a hole right by his water dish. I also have two live plants in there. I was really only planning on keeping those plants in there for maybe a couple of days to see if they would die or not in here because there isn't a lot of light that comes in here. They're doing amazing. I just kept them in their pots because unfortunately tomato frogs do burrow and I didn't want them to mess up the roots or anything like that. This fern, I just recently moved to this side and it's getting a lot more light and growing a lot more. But the rest of the plants are fake minus the moss and he just has a little water dish over here which needs a good cleaning. He was in there just a couple minutes ago so that's why it's so dirty. So that is that shelf. Next, I have Puff's enclosure. She's in a 36. I believe it's a 36 by 18 by 18. It could be a larger one. I don't remember, you guys. <laughs> I do eventually want to upgrade her into a bigger enclosure. Hello. She does get out a lot, so a lot of her exercise is when she is out of her enclosure and just walking around the condo or wherever she is. I think she would maybe benefit from a bigger enclosure, but she is doing fine in this for now. This is actually a basket. She likes to sleep underneath here, and then she likes to hang out here as well. And then I have her basking space Spot here there is a water dish although she doesn't really drink from her water dish it's just there in case she wants it and then her food bowl as well the next two enclosures are a little bit harder to show because they're closer to the floor but these are my crested gecko enclosures for my adults this is Charmander's enclosure and this one's Spyro's they are both 18 by 18 by 24 exoterras you can see that Charmander just left me a big massive poop while I was getting ready to film, so thank you. I think he is behind this big massive leaf. He doesn't have too much foliage just because he's pretty good as long as he has this big massive fake Monstera leaf, that's his favorite. And then I just have in both of my adult Crested Gecko enclosures this Reptiledge. I think he's just back here. Here he is. He's just hanging out. Next to his enclosure, I just have this half bag of Eco Earth because I didn't really know where else to put it. Next, we have Spyro's enclosure, which I actually recently just added another piece of driftwood in here. So here he is. He is again in an 18 by 18 by 24 Exoterra. How freaking cute are my dogs right now? <laughs> Jumping is good. Are you just watching me? Jumper? Wow, the lighting. The next rack is where I keep my fish tank and my African fat tail enclosure. At the top, I have quite a few plants. I have my massive, massive, massive Marble Queen pothos up there. And then up here, I just have a couple of ferns and my bromeliad, which will eventually go into a crested gecko enclosure. I think there's also a creeping jenny somewhere up there. Next is my 20 gallon long community tank. And this tank, as I said, has sand as the substrate. So the only planted, like actually rooted plants in here are Amazon swords. And I think I have four in there. I might have five. They all kind of just blend together. <laughs> and then the rest are floating plants. So this is Neptune, my new baby fish which I have not shown to you and I recently just switched to having a hang on back filter because I used to have a sponge filter and I just didn't feel like it was enough. I also have several guppies in here. I also have some auto cats as I was mentioning before and several snails. That is my 20 gallon long tank and then beneath that I have my African fat tail enclosure and I can finally reveal that his name is Snickers. It's a 20 gallon long and I recently just switched him to to Eco Earth. It's a little bit dry right now because I haven't mixed too much water in there. I didn't want to disturb him like crazy today. I'll do that tonight when he's a little more awake. I have a hide over here that is a humid hide and then I have just like a regular cold hide there if he wants to go in there and then his hot hide is over there and that's where he likes to hang out the most. On the bottom shelf is pretty much just storage to be completely honest. I have all of my fish supplies all the way to the right. Then I have my crickets next to that. A little mixing container where I put the calcium in and then the bugs and just 
swirl them around. And then next to that I have my mealworms and my superworms as well as my tongs and the calcium. And that's pretty much all that's on that shelf. This isn't a part of my shelves but I really love these plants so I thought I would show you. Alright guys, that is it for this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell down below so you can get updates on when I post my next video. If you want to keep updated on my life as well as my pets, all of my social media is always linked down below. And I will see you guys next week for another video.